Dr. Roberta Bonder. Roberta Bondar. Roberta Bondar. Roberta Bondar. Roberta Bondar. Roberta Bonder. Roberta Bonder. Dr. Roberta Bonder. Roberta Bondar became the first Canadian woman in space by blasting off this morning on board the Space Shuttle Discovery. I think right now we're enjoying very much the limited opportunity we've had so far of being up here. Living uh, both in space and on the Earth really makes you appreciate uh, the good and the bad of both. The three most dangerous parts of spaceflight are launch and landing and everything in between. <laughs> I understand that you caught a glimpse of Canada during your mission. Let me tell you, it's exceptionally exciting uh, from space. Every mile of this beautiful country. We are actually going through life uncharted. We have to be able to embrace and understand what it means to engage change. So spaceflight gives us the extreme opportunity to see things turned upside down. We can actually find out who we really are. So I looked at the kinds of things that really were important to me, whether it was the environment, leadership, what are you going to do now as a physician, as a scientist, as an astronaut, photographer? I wanted to take pictures to be able to show people that we are living on a planet and how wonderful this planet was. This planet is unique. Show me a tree somewhere else. This is the president speaking now, but I, I just want to say how, how pleased we are that uh, you representing Canada. I learned a lot about gravity tonight. Whoops, excuse me. And I really thank my parents for giving me a Meccano set every Christmas. And the ability to understand and not be intimidated by aspects of a growing world and a growing body of knowledge. I think we have to keep our curiosity that we've had since we were young. Otherwise, it becomes, uh, it becomes very flat. So to have the, the three-dimensional experience and the excitement, we really have to embrace, I think, all areas of education. And if we, if we stick just to science and technology, we really miss a lot of the ability to add creativity to that science and technology. Planet Earth is not at the end of its life. Sure, being an astronaut, you get a big view of the planet, but is that going to help save someone's life? Only if it inspires somebody to go on and do something else with their lives. Because I still change. And when you look at the picture of me when I was younger, and I was wearing a pith helmet with the binoculars, and I start thinking about the kinds of things that were important to me then about the unknown and the uncharted. I look at myself now, grown up a little more, always wanting to change with the unknown. And that I wish for all of you. Engage, enlighten, and be enlightened. Hey, Bobby, come on up here. We're going by Canada. <laughs>